Whistleblowers often risk their own safety to right a wrong they feel they've witnessed. A new CBS News series called Whistleblower tells the stories of heroic people who put everything on the line to expose wrongdoing. It's hosted by attorney Alex Ferrer, a former police officer and judge. In tonight's series premiere, he talks to people who blew the whistle on a pediatric dental chain. The former employees believe unsafe practices were used on young patients. I lived in fear every day, what I would face. Yeah, I was scared. Did I think something might happen? You never know when money's involved. It's David versus Goliath. It's a huge corporation. The intimidation is there. Cool Smiles is a massive nationwide corporation with more than 120 clinics catering to kids. I was a dentist and I saw unnecessary procedures, children being traumatized. I was stressed to my eyeballs. They're taking advantage of little kids. They were doing baby root canals on teeth that could have had regular fillings. I would hear children crying at work all day. Meet Dr. Michael Greenwald. An online job posting caught his eye. Cool Smiles typically targeted recipients of Medicaid. I thought it was just, wow, this is a great idea. We're treating children. They're underserved. We're going to do some good. Unlike Dr. Greenwald, who had 30 years of dentistry under his belt, Cool Smiles recruits were mostly young, inexperienced dentists, recent immigrants. Dr. Rye was one of them. It was a dream job. What did they offer you as a starting salary? The total package was $180,000. But it was a deal with the devil. So what is your first impression when you start working at Cool Smiles? Production. Like a mill? Like a mill. It's chicken nuggets getting produced down a conveyor belt. He says corporate owners dictated the work to be done. So each tooth went from a $30, $40 filling to a $500 gain. It was money. It was production. Dr. Greenwald says demands at Cool Smiles were dangerous. The faster you work, the sloppier you can get. I maintained some records of names, dates, procedures. I wanted to stop this. It was insane. Pick on someone your own size. The stakes could not have been higher. 911, what is the address of your emergency? I am at Cool Smiles. I need police or medical? Medical. I am Dr. Michael Greenwald. I'm Dr. Rai. I am a whistleblower. And I'm a whistleblower. Their biggest mistake was hiring me. Well, Cool Smiles said in a statement, the company follows treatment guidelines from the American Dental Association and American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry, adding, quote, treatment is provided only after conducting a consultation and obtaining the informed written consent of the patient's parent or guardian. Host and executive producer of Whistleblowers, Alex Ferreira, is here with us now. Good to see you. Oh, good to see you, too. Thank S you for having me. So what happened to that young child? Um, sadly, that child never woke up after the procedure and died several days later. Um, in all fairness, this incident happened this December, which was years after the whistleblower action was brought. So it wasn't what motivated the whistleblower action, but it's just the original concern of Dr. Greenbaum, who you see in the video, was something is bad is going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, they become whistleblowers. Our, our series is about people like this of every walk of life. I mean, uh, doctors, dentists, teachers, police officers, beauticians who all become whistleblowers. And um, when you see the series, you realize what, <clears throat> excuse me, what heroes they are because they always lose their job. They're very often blackballed in their industry, so they lose their career. Um, sometimes they lose their homes, their marriages break up, but they're people who come forward because um, there's a wrong. Their, their employer is ripping off the government in Medicare fraud or in some other way, and they're not gonna sit back and watch it. Um, so you go through the whole gamut of what they lived through and what the risks were. Risks were. Um, sometimes they have death threats. Sometimes they have attempts on their lives, which is scary to think when we're talking about, and I'm not talking about cool smiles, but <clears throat> when we're talking about we're in America, not Russia. Imagine a, a corporation whose name you know, and the person's blowing the whistle on them, and the next thing you know, somebody's undoing the lug nuts on their tires and Whoa. on their kids' tires. 
Uh, people break into their house in the middle of the night while they're sleeping and go through their documents. You know, it, it's scary to think that it happens in America. Yeah. Um, there, there is a silver lining, and that is that in, so, in many of these cases, uh, the whistleblowers are entitled to, the government is entitled to reward whistleblowers with a percentage of the recovery. The government is ripped off to the tune of about 100 to 300 billion dollars every year. I mean, you can imagine if we could get, recover that or prevent it and apply it to our national debt. Mm -hmm. So well, when the government recovers that money, they're entitled to reward the whistleblower. And, and not in every case, but in many cases, the whistleblowers get multi-million dollar rewards for doing the right thing. Um, these whistleblowers don't even know about that. I mean, they come forward because it, they don't want to allow it to continue, and then they, they learn about the possibility of a reward. So some states have whistleblower protection laws, yes. right? New York does. Yes. Are they weak? I mean, do they work? No, they're, they're different. I mean, there are they're whistleblower protection laws that apply in different fields. and also The one we're dealing with is the federal one called the False Claims Act. It dates all the way back to Abraham Lincoln. Uh, we don't have the time to go over it, but there's a fascinating story on how that law started. And uh, it's been in existence ever since. It was strengthened during the Reagan administration. And it empowers whistleblowers. They, as you see in this one, they go undercover. I mean, they basically collect documents and evidence uh, and build the case for the government. And it's, it's a fascinating process, and the stories we have are, are riveting. You know, one of the things that I find really fascinating about whistleblowers, and I'm, I'm curious what your experience, not just on this show, but as a judge, has been, there are some people who think whistleblowers are heroes, and there are other people who think whistleblowers are rats. Mm. And how that the stress on a whistleblower to come out sure. and say, I've seen some wrong doing and I'm going to come out and it may be against police officers, it sure. may be against doctors, it may be against people that are usually held in. What ends up happening okay, many times is it feels as if whistleblowers come out against institutions that are respected right. and that is perhaps what leads to something. Yeah, I, you know, I think it dates back to when we're kids, don't be a tattletale, right? Uh, but it really depends on what you're blowing the whistle on, doesn't it? I mean, it, it, you know, if, if you're talking about a company that is stealing hundreds of millions of dollars from all of us, uh, yeah. I mean, then you're I, a hero. Listen, I'm a capitalist. I, I right. believe in capitalism. Right. I think that companies should succeed and be profitable. It's great for the economy. But it's not great to steal from all of us, to risk endanger children or risk people's lives to make an extra buck. And that's what this is about. We but what if you're like a Frank Serpico type? Then in, in that regard, sure. it's a little grayer, right? For, for people in the police? <clears throat> no, you know state. what? I'm a former police officer. Yeah. And police have to, be, have to be supervised and monitored, too. And the bad have to be weeded out. You know, there's bad in every profession. So it, it applies across the board. Yeah. So Bottom give us an line. idea of some of the uh, areas that you're covering with the series. Oh, my God. They run the gamut. I mean, um, imagine you go to your doctor and your doctor, well, let's use me. I hate to do that to people. I go to my doctor <laughs> and my doctor diagnoses me with cancer. I have to go home and tell my family. I remember this case. And, uh, you know, I undergo chemotherapy, not for months, but for years, and then find out that I never had cancer. The doctor just wanted to bill for chemotherapy. Mm and did this to hundreds wow. of people, okay? That, that's one case. Uh, we have one involving the uh, National uh, Nuclear Laboratory at Los Alamos, which will scare the heck out of you. It scares the heck out of me uh, when you find out how, what a sieve it was over there and things walking out the door. Wow. Um, we have them involving uh, pharmaceuticals. You know, if you think your, your doctor's writing a prescription for you because that's the drug that is gonna help you, mm -hmm. uh, you might be surprised on tonight's show because we have another half that, uh, that airs tonight about a pharmaceutical sales rep who tells you about how doctors are, in effect, in his words, he says, bribed to give you this particular drug. Right. Not necessarily the one the doctor would have given you. Oh, uh, man. You know, you watch these, you know, as you see with dentistry, you know, yeah. parents who take kids to the dentist. Well, this scares me because yes. if you don't have a kid, right, a, a young kid, what you might not know is that often to get a lot of this dental work done, kids are put under. So what is sort of a, a, a simple procedure for an adult can be a very risky procedure for a child. And you trust the dentist. Absolutely. You don't know what's going on in their right. mouth, you know, so you trust them. And the, and the problem that these whistleblowers had with this situation at the dental clinic was that the, the dental clinic was, the dental clinics all over the country were being run by a corporation that was demanding production. You got a report card every day. How much money did you bring in? Well, if you're, if you're focused on, you got to bring in thousands of dollars. Are you really putting on crowns because they're needed? Yeah. And you had kids that were getting four, five, six stainless steel crowns, toddlers. How bad um, can their teeth really be? They're baby teeth. They're gonna be falling out anyways. Yeah. That's what I say. Fascinating. All right. Alex yeah, Ferrer, thank exciting. you so much. Yeah. We are thank looking for forward me. to this yes, series. Yeah. It sounds amazing. Thank it you. It is, thank you.
Well, you can watch the season premiere of Whistleblower tonight at 8 p.m. 7 Central on CBS. We 